Here at New Scotland Yard, the headquarters of the Metropolitan Police, people young and old have been remembering the Holocaust through the eyes of Eva Schloss, the stepsister of Anne Frank. The play entitled And Then They Came For Me combines the work of live actors with audiovisual footage of Holocaust survivors. The play has been performed around the world and is produced and directed by Nick Kareem. I felt this is a story that the world needs to hear. So Eva bought it here in 2000 and I started producing it then and then now I direct it and we take it all around the world. It's a very, very important message that shows the reality of the time through one person's story, uh, Eva Sloss. Some of the cast members told JN1 what the play means to them. You look at, you look at what happened in the Holocaust and it's, it's all about it's the hatred that was there. Um, the, the message is uh, hatred is everywhere and anywhere so and that's what we need to get rid of because it's a horrible horrible thing my grandfather was a soldier well a policeman in Denmark and he got arrested for helping Jewish people and he got killed in a concentration camp Eva says that she's happy to continue telling her story because we all need to be reminded to stand up against hate I've been in prison doing the play in schools, in universities all over, and the reaction is always amazing. People still would like to hear and learn about it. And um, to be in the Metropolitan Police is, of course, very important because there are, unfortunately, still racial issues. Deputy Commissioner of the Metropolitan Police, Craig Mackey, invited the cast to perform the play at New Scotland Yard because of its important message. It's a real opportunity for others to come and see it tonight. The central message of the play is really important. It's about standing up for what's right. And it's something we're very strong on in the Metropolitan Police Service. And it's an opportunity tonight for officers, members of staff and the wider community of London to see the play. In the audience were a number of school children who said that the play was very moving. When it's there and when it's in front of you, it, um, the sort of human cruelty does really come through, and, and that's something that very much affected me in, in terms of in terms of the cruelty of, of Nazism and, and of of the Holocaust. At school, we often do like we look at the Holocaust and things, and it's very hard to connect emotionally with it when you're just reading it in a textbook, but. When it was on the stage, it's much easier to actually try and understand what the people are going through. So, They look at Eva and they see that she survived the Holocaust and they see that she is not an embittered person. And I think it raises questions. They want to know why. How can somebody get over something like that? And with the continuing success of the play, there are plans for it to be performed at the G8 Summit later this year. One key aspect of the play is that it relates to everyone, no matter your race, religion or age. This is Celestina Ololode for JN1 in London.